you're going to meet your partner in this year if planet saturn planet jupiter they both activating your dara karka yes guys in vedic astrology the planet with lowest degrees becomes your dara karka and giving a clue of your possible spouse you tell me about your dara karka i tell you about your marriage tell me about the zodiac sign the planet the navamsha the nakshatra and we connect it with the ongoing transit this time planet saturn is in aquarius planet jupiter about to make a big switch planet rahu planet ketu the karmic axis is in pisces or virgo if you are dara karka anyhow connecting with these four big planets then definitely guys you're going to meet a very special person this year there is the impact impact of transit over your dara karka sometimes they say moon is my dara karka i'm always looking for an emotional person but when planet saturn transiting over my dara karka my planet moon then i want a mature person i want someone who who is more mature who is more mature in emotional dealings if mercury transiting over the same moon the dara karka then you want someone who is of jolly nature so this way dara karka is the top layer dara karka is the deciding factor this energy completes you the transit is deciding this year is favorable for your marriage or not to the to the minimized level i think transit of planet mercury transit of venus and transit of planet sun giving you a clue this month is the favorable month or not that favorable for your marriage or for meeting the possible spouse so guys open your vedic birth chart and tell me about your dara karka tell me the planet with the lowest degrees and we are counting planet rahu also in the calculation so if rahu is having 27 28 29 degrees in your birth chart then possible rahu is your dara karka now uh, i think the question is uh, why you reversing the calculation but everything is complicated with the nodes with rahu and planet ketu so we better deduct their degrees from 30 and come at the logical logical answer that b are dara karka so rahu 28 29 20 possibly becoming your becoming your dara karka eight planetary system now if moon is your dara karka i think caring emotional energy is completes you but uh, always check the connect planet planet saturn making with the with your dara karka the planet saturn making your with your dara karka the connect planet jupiter making with your dara karka you know jupiter and planet saturn they are the two giants of vedic astrology they they call them giants jupiter is the ruler of your luck planet saturn is the ruler of your karma if they both connecting with your dara karka by aspect by conjunction anyhow if they connecting with your dara karka then definitely going to meet your partner this one year this one year if jupiter and planet saturn they both connecting with your dara karka then you definitely going to meet your partner possible the partner himself coming or entering in your life or possibly you are thinking about your partner 24/7 and not only thinking guys you meeting your partner the thinking is only with the nodes rahu and ketu so if rahu and ketu they are connecting with your dara karka they are playing with your dara karka in the conjunction or by the aspect than 24 7 thinking about the partner rahu is the planet of uh, planet of outcast energies planet of different cultures planet of foreign travel and all so if rahu any how connecting with your dara karka then this one year you're going to meet a person possibly living in the foreign country possibly out of culture possibly of a, of a different caste different religion if ketu is transiting over your dara karka then boom guys definitely you're going to connect with a karmic person definitely as the layer of planet ketu is shaping your dara karka is mixing in your dara karka some says moon is my dara karka I'm always looking for emotional person but whenever ketu transits over my my natal moon my dara karka i'm having unrest more and um uh, more uh, emotionally spiritual emotionally spiritual like where you investing emotional energies where you investing emotional energies in your partner but you don't want that physical uh, uh, energies only or you don't want that emotional energies only you are looking for a spiritual connection you are looking for a spiritual connection so the player planet k2 changed the top layer to that to that spiritual energies now the same planet moon planet ketu their connection i think uh, karmic relation just we covered and uh, this time possibly meeting your partner in the same same country same culture same caste ketu means same ketu means same energies now if planet saturn and planet jupiter they are opposing your dara karka this is the biggest maximum challenging maximum challenging phase when two giants of vedic astrology jupiter planet saturn they together opposing your dara karka and happens guys 
planet moon planet sun planet jupiter like even jupiter if you are dharakaka and if in transit jupiter and planets are on the opposing your dharakaka then things not that well in your marriage so just by figuring your dharakaka and connecting it with your with their ongoing transit can know a lot about your marriage you can know a lot about your possible spouse and a lot about your relations and the, the, the future actually the future of your relation the future of the marriage the future of uh, or, or why things happening the way they happening so if you want to find the answer then definitely connect your dharakaka with the transit now if your dharakaka is in aries sign so presently planet saturn is in the 11th from your uh, your uh, sign your dharakaka sign and planet rahu is 12th from your dharakaka sign and jupiter is transiting over your dharakaka i think this is the best time to complete your marriage spouse related desire as two giants of vedic astrology planet saturn planet jupiter they are giving the positive node saturn by aspect and jupiter transiting over your dharakaka so things are really well here planet rahu and planet k2 this axis is actually blocking the things this axis is actually blocking the things possibly uh things not moving that fast the matter of foreign travel or in the matter of uh, some expenditures some health issues they are blocking your path and planet k2 cause transiting sixth house possible having some issues in the, in the office in the office and that blocking your that blocking your uh, this uh, uh dara karka's path so i think a transit of planet rahu and planet ketu they changed the things they changed uh, things a lot and uh this actually happened this uh 2024 like in the start of 2024 and things changed in your marriage things changed uh regarding the the, the spouse and uh from uh, everything great to to the challenging phase that challenging phase is going as rahu is in the 12th and ketu is in the sixth and cause ketu is in the sixth possible your spouse feeling like uh, more uh, more pressure from your side or possible your spouse feeling the pressure from the office side or possible your spouse feeling that karmic karmic angle like uh, things are karmic here uh, whatever inputs i'm giving not bringing the maximum output so uh, when when they say things are karmic and i'm not interested in investing any more energies there so this happens cause of the the karmic axis rahu and planet ketu better worship lord hanmanji better worship mata durga and this one mantra om dum om dam durga nama that mantra can help you in balancing your spouse marriage related desire now guys soon the transit of jupiter in taurus jupiter switch to taurus that will be after that will be around the first of may and uh that transit is known uh uh that great one so try to complete your spouse marriage related desire before the month of may and i think uh, all things are settled just this axis of rahu and planet ketu that blocking things a lot and uh, rahu all about illusion all about changes and planet ketu we just covered the karmic angle and we just covered the health front we just covered our responsibilities or duties from the office and they blocking your your dharakarka they blocking this happy marriage they blocking this things going to next level so better work on this rahu and ketu's access and gain maximum from the transit of jupiter in aries sign for better understanding about jupiter in aries please watch our session jupiter in aries the last 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 few uh months i think as uh we are in month of march and uh, month of may jupiter will be in, uh by a uh, taurus sign now if your dara karka is in taurus so presently planet saturn is uh 10th from your dharakarka planet saturn the big giant of vedic astrology is actually 10th from your dharakarka not influencing your dharakarka directly but saturn 10th from dharakarka it means you are giving efforts from your side and you are trying to complete your marriage spouse related desire since the transit of saturn in aquarius sign you are giving continuous efforts from your side you're not worried about the outcomes or the result anymore now about the luck let's trace the transit of planet jupiter jupiter is transiting in aries sign right Right now and that is 12th from your dharakarka now jupiter will be in a uh, taurus sign first of may and i think that transit is the best transit to complete spouse marriage related desire as the lord of bhagya the lord of luck gonna transit over your dharakarka and definitely transiting over your dharakarka to bless you like this transit is happening you believe me after 12 years after 12 years jupiter having this 
this courage this this feeling let me transit over your dara karka and let me blast your dara karka so marriage wise looking for possible spouse then yes guys after first of may definitely the opportunities are there strong opportunities and as transiting jupiter over dara karka i think possible from the same culture same caste same religion society side and transit of rahu and planet ketu they two not opposing things rahu is in the 11th house and rahu is like okay um, i'm with you i'm with you when comes completing my desire i'm with you so rahu can help you in completing your desire looking for foreign travel partner overseas that too is possible and ketu is transiting in your fifth house ketu is transit in fifth house not uh, that uh, not that uh, favorable as ketu in fifth house headless planet in fifth house taking a uh, wrong decisions so just uh, be aware of taking wrong decisions be aware of jumping on things without calculation and uh, give maximum from your side guys as the main planet is planet saturn and in 10th house certain framing the great 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 raj yoga for you for your dara karka and certain like arm with you and comes to completing the desire so taking things to next level that too is possible after first of may and uh, what about the marriage or the future of your marriage i think transit of jupiter is deciding the fate of your marriage transit of jupiter and transit of planet ketu they not uh, that uh, that favorable for uh, sustainment or for continuing things as jupiter is always malefic for for taurus sign jupiter is always malefic for taurus sign and this time your dara karka is taking the shelter in taurus so jupiter having uh, this uh, 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 this in back of mind too and i think transit of jupiter just manage your relation with your in-laws manage your relation with your society and try to follow the uh, society's norms try to follow the norms of society that going to help you in continuing sustaining the marriage now guys if dara karka is in gemini sign so right now planet saturn is ninth from from gemini thank god planet saturn is ninth from gemini sign in the ninth in the ninth saturn performs very well in the ninth saturn performs very well one joint of vedic astrology the karmic lord is in the in the bhagya sthana so saturn is like okay from my side i'm giving i'm giving support and cause the bhagya swami is in the uh, cause the karma swami karma swami is in the house of bhagya i think whatever inputs efforts you giving from your side the bhagya sthana giving positive reaction positive reactions or positive outcome so it means uh, uh, the the actions or the energy is not going in vain they bringing out something if you are interested in possible spouse marriage and all yes guys the transit of saturn is favorable transit for you let's trace the transit of the bhagya swami planet jupiter so jupiter right now transiting in aries sign and after first of may will be in taurus now jupiter directly not connecting with your dara karka so this thing uh, we lacking here this thing we lacking here where jupiter not connecting directly with the dara karka jupiter is actually 12th from dara karka having some challenges from the society partner possibly having some health issues or partner undergoing a lot of pressures some tensions are there so this is cause of the transit of jupiter better we make this transit favorable and better we take the blessings of planet jupiter by worshiping lord narayana by worshiping lord narayana lord vishnu let's trace the transit of rahu and planet ketu so rahu is uh, transiting your 10th house right now and ketu is transiting your 4th house right now now the transit of ketu in the 4th house not that light transit not that favorable transit as ketu is the headless planet and this time i think you are just interested in uh, whatever happening in your family you are investing all your energies there and you missing something on this marriage front spouse front so possibly you not giving the proper time to your partner this is a possible challenge and a uh, possible uh, transit of jupiter in the 12th house partner undergoing things and uh, if partner is in a foreign country overseas uh, like the 12th house touch if this 12th house touch is visible in your relationship the foreign travel you need to do a lot or lot lot of travel to meet your partner then things are challenging otherwise i think uh, marriage in the same caste same country same culture is possible and uh, planets are done like effort you giving one effort universe supporting you in in your efforts you giving two efforts universe supporting you there so effort from your side bhagya swami planet jupiter directly not uh, supporting this uh, this 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 planet 
Dharakarka. Planet Dharakarka. Now, if Dharakarka is in Cancer sign, guys, right now, planet Saturn, the giant of Vedic astrology, the karmic giant, transiting 8th from your Dharakarka. Now, you tell me, planet Saturn, the karmic giant, is 8th from my Dharakarka. It means I'm feeling the restrictions more, limitations more, things taking time, things taking time. And the situation is worse if moon is your dharakarka planet sun is your dharakarka or mars is your dharakarka as they're not liking planet saturn and this time planet saturn blocking your path so i think i think is settled but the opponent your virudhis your rivals they are blocking your path they are asking you a lot of about your marriage asking you a lot about your marriage and cause things not uh, going that fast this thing possibly this this one fundamental um, uh, blockage blockade by planet saturn possibly disturbing the the interest of your partner possible partner will like not interested anymore in this in this relationship so if dharakarka is in cancer sign then guys please 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 worship lord shani deva please worship shani deva please worship and take the blessings of lord shani deva so shani deva not uh, bring that uh, restriction blockage blockade in uh, in the in the path of dharakarka now about the transit of planet jupiter so jupiter right now transiting in aries sign and about to make the switch so after first of may will be in taurus that is in your 11th house and there i think this transit becomes more supportive as uh, jupiter in the 12th house going to complete your desire bhagya swami going to complete your desire things will be favorable go by the things of your family go by the things of their society go by the things of your your near and dear ones as jupiter belongs to that camp intellectual camp so this intellectual planet going to help you in your marriage partner having the dasha of planet jupiter or if your partner is also that intellectual person who believes in discussion who believes in talking who believes in uh, who believes in uh, like uh, understanding your point of view then great guys then just wait for this transit of jupiter boom jupiter switch in taurus sign and you're gonna feel like yes so things changed and uh, the the relationship past time was slipping out of my hand but now things under my control as the lord of luck lord of bhagya planet jupiter being in taurus started supporting me so this for planet jupiter that for planet saturn now comes the axis karmic axis planet rahu and planet ketu so where planet rahu and planet ketu are planet rahu i think is in uh, planet rahu is in your ninth house and planet ketu is in your third house so rahu in ninth house is favorable rahu in ninth house is favorable especially if you're looking for out of culture different caste different religion different country uh, that type that sort of relationship as rahu the malefic planet rahu is the malefic planet rahu is the polluted one and this time it polluting your ninth house it polluting the house of society so i think this type of pollution is definitely there especially if dharakarka is planet moon dharakarka is planet sun then rahu trying the best to give you out of culture different religion different caste that type of person guys ketu in third house making or breaking this deal third house the house of decision making and ketu is the headless planet so ketu not performs that well in third house yes only the masculine side only the masculine side where you are more confident you are more powerful you are more masculine is strong but when it comes to taking the big decision ketu not giving that proper proper answer and this is the only thing you're facing in your marriage right now uh, i'm about to take some big decision on the right track or not and you're feeling this energy plus since planet ketu started transiting your third house this energy possibly you feeling or possible your partner feeling and possible you both going through uh, job crisis uh, as ketu in third house the house of uh, the house of responsibilities house of duty so sometimes job crisis or having more burdens in job and this is the only thing like i told you planet ketu making or breaking this connection so i think better to continue the ongoing relation look for a possible spouse after the transit of jupiter in taurus not when jupiter is transiting in aries sign this is the best time to continue the ongoing relation and work on planet saturn and planet ketu as saturn in eighth house limitations and ketu in third house headless planet not so sure what is the right direction guys if your dharakarka is in leo sign 
Now this time planet Jupiter planet Saturn two giants of Vedic astrology they are activating Leo to the fullest planet Mars also activating Leo to the fullest this trio activating the Leo sign Leo sign is activated it means your Dara Karka is activated so what happens when Dara Karka goes activated guys Dara Karka is also like the fan switch when you activate and you turn on the fan switch means the fan started moving so when Dara Karka is active by Jupiter by planet Saturn by planet Mars it means whatever effort input you're giving from your side universe recognizing them universe appreciating them and universe rewarding you so this is the best time i think to find the possible spouse if you're looking for someone then this is the best time to work on your work on your marriage work on your relationship as planet saturn planet jupiter they both influencing you it means you're feeling this energy to the next level and uh, out of 24 hours possible thinking about a spouse for like 20 hours 21 hours this happens when planet saturn planet jupiter planet mars together influences the dark arca you're feeling this energy this energy influence in your in your dark arca or in the leo sign this time now if dark arca is in leo the transit of rahu and planet Ketu, the karmic axis, this time Rahu is in your 8th house and Ketu is in your 2nd house. Ketu in 2nd house is making or breaking this deal as Ketu is the natural, the karmic cutter and 2nd house is the house of speech. So battle, battle, battle. Not let planet Ketu disturb your, your marriage. Don't let planet Ketu disturb your ongoing relationship, your marriage and how Ketu disturbing the marriage in the second house, second house, the house of speech, second house, the house of nourishment. So house of speech, planet Ketu, the heated arguments house of nourishment means you asking a lot you're asking a, a, your partner a lot about the the ongoing relationship how you're going to continue it going to sustain it or the future the future aspect of your marriage so don't ask don't let planet ketu disturb your marriage don't give that much focus to your second house and planet rahu transiting the eighth house rahu in the eighth house illusion delusion confusion so the karmic access is the only access blocking your marriage right now if you're not having surety about your desire surety of desires the partner i want what type of partner i want then this access coming into the calculation then this access coming into the calculation if you're having surety about your partner this type of energy i want in my life only this type of energy and i'm entertaining him oh ho then great guys but if you're not having that surety then transit of rahu and transit of ketu this karmic access disturbing the marriage so two different uh, sides first having surety having a clue of my possible partner this energy completes me and I'm not confused like I'm not letting planet Rahu play with my mind illusion delusion or confusions so I think work on planet Rahu work on planet Saturn and worshipping Mata Durga is the best way to work on them both together now guys if Virgo is your rising Virgo rising this time planet Ketu is transiting over your Dara Karka. Virgo is rising means Dara Karka is in Virgo sign. So this time planet Ketu transiting over your Dara Karka. Rahu is transiting over your 7th house. Now the karmic axis. The karmic axis controlling your, your marriage. Controlling this relationship side completely. Completely. Ketu is the karmic cutter. Ketu is transit over Dara Kaka, possibly feeling the unrest. This is the material side, feeling the unrest, having confusions more, tensions more, or feel like now I'm enlightened about the, the hidden hidden side of my partner. This is the material side. The spiritual side is having a karmic connection. Having a karmic connection, it means not meeting a new partner. It means you know you know your partner know your partner from previous life you know your partner from previous life or you got a karmic karmic angle with your partner so this happens when planet ketu transits over the dara karka there's this material side there's this spiritual side and then comes this this karmic side no my partner i know about him i know about her and i think i met him or her in the same previous life and after meeting your partner you'll be asking him how i met you before so this happens when planet ketu transits over the dara karka three different sides planet rahu is also transiting your seventh house so rahu transiting over seventh house i think uh, you are attracting the relationships this time you are attracting relationships this time just cause ketu transiting over your darakaka you are not so sure uh, so sure you are not having clarity clarity of your path you're not having clarity clarity of your path but you are attracting uh energies this time as rahu in the seventh house rahu is the natural attractor 
natural attractor so this time i think you're attracting uh, others but uh, just cause ketu is headless planet you're not having that that surety about your partner or about your direction where life is heading or what type of energy i want in my life or possibly thinking about the the past ones thinking about the access more thinking about the past relations more as the planet ketu is the planet of past so it bringing the past uh uh past uh, memories back now guys the giants of vedic astrology planet saturn planet jupiter the way they connecting with your dara karka deciding the fate of your marriage now planet saturn this time is transiting your sixth house again the karmic angle again the karmic angle and planet jupiter is transiting your eighth house after first of may will be in your ninth house so jupiter in taurus is far favorable than jupiter in aries sign as this time jupiter is eighth from dara kaka so previous time previous one year i think whatever efforts input you gave from your side gain uh, uh, went in vain or you feeling it right now whatever efforts and energies i gave from my side especially in this in this dara kaka camp the marriage camp meeting possible spouse and all that energy that energy just wasted that energy not uh, uh, not worth and i think uh, jupiter's increase in taurus is favorable favorable for your dara karka as jupiter in taurus making a perfect trine perfect trine with your dara karka so look for someone who believes in dialogues look for someone who believes in uh, who believes in religion look for someone who believes in discussions look for someone who comes from intellectual camp this type of energy only can complete you otherwise planet ketu transit over the dara karka in 2024 we can gain on from the transit of planet jupiter and if so if the person comes from the intellectual camp if the person comes from the same caste same religion or the person believes in your religion or gives you the due respect only then we can gain from this this transit of jupiter otherwise you planet ketu in the uh, in the in the sign over the dara karka not let any person enter in your life as after someone enters planet ketu gets activated and then starts in depth analysis of your marriage in depth in depth analysis of your dara karka and tells you about hidden hidden things hidden sides gives you awakening enlightenment of the hidden side of your partner and says to you ah, this person entered for for a selfish reason and uh, then you know karmic cut or natural cut or so cutting the relation so better we work the transit of jupiter and we gain from this this one side and better you balance your professional life and your personal life now guys for libra rising or dara karka is in libra if dara karka is in libra so dara karka is the energy that completes you what way your dara karka connecting with the with the ongoing uh, ongoing transits the main transit is planet saturn in aquarius and saturn in aquarius you know saturn is in aquarius to complete complete the desire now this transit is fifth from your dara kaka that's great guys that's great believe me that's great as the giant of vedic astrology the giant of vedic astrology the karmic giant is fifth from your dara kaka it means whatever inputs you giving from your side universe recognizing them appreciating them and rewarding you so efforts not going in in vain as it is in fifth house i think uh, relationship side uh that i'm taking the decision i'm taking the decision or uh, possibly you uh doing the in depth analysis right now as fifth house the house of intellect fifth house is the house of your brain power fifth house is the house of relationships fifth house is the house of education institute possibly meeting partner in the education institute that too is possible now the lord of luck planet jupiter yes transit of jupiter also deciding things and uh, this time jupiter making a switch after first of may will be in taurus and taurus is in your taurus is in your 8th house now taurus is in 8th house jupiter transit in the 8th house 8th from dara kaga that's not that favorable so better we uh, have a uh, complete uh, understanding better we develop clear cut understanding about about marriage about a spouse about the dara karka before first of may better we develop that clear cut understanding about dara karka before first of may as after first of may jupiter will be eighth from your dara karka and jupiter you know jupiter is the 
लॉर्ड ऑफ भाग्य जुपिट इज द लॉर्ड ऑफ बुद्धि जुपिट इज द लॉर्ड ऑफ विजडम एंड दैट लॉर्ड नॉट गोइंग टू सपोर्ट योर दार कार का पॉसिबली योर पार्टनर फील लाइक आई एम नॉट सो श्योर अबाउट माई डायरेक्शन आई एम नॉट सो श्योर अबाउट द डायरेक्शन आई एम नॉट रेडी टू टेक थिंग्स टू नेक्स्ट लेवल सो इफ यू आर इन दिस कैम्प टेकिंग थिंग्स टू नेक्स्ट लेवल दैन बैटर डू इट बिफोर फर्स्ट ऑफ मे इफ यू आर स्टिल लुकिंग फॉर योर पार्टनर दैन एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूट गोइंग टू गोइंग टू सपोर्ट यू डेफिनेटली ए कार्मिक रिलेशनशिप इज डेफिनेटली देव If you are thinking about about your marriage, so I say, uh, better give due due focus to your to your in-laws. After in after marriage life, give due focus to your in-laws. Eighth house belongs to in-laws energies, in-laws energies and marriage sustainment. So we better work on the in-laws. We better work on the marriage sustainment only, like uh, the eighth house and the axis of Rahu and planet Ketu. We Rahu transiting right now. Rahu is transiting in. Pisces sign and where is Pisces? Pisces is in your is in your sixth house and planet Ketu is in your twelfth house. So I know past time you suffered a lot. You suffered a lot. Planet Ketu transit in Libra that affected you completely. Affected your Dharakarka completely. It is more like a new day. It is more like a new day, a fresh start, the beginning. So this beginning energy, this fresh start energy is visible here. Cause Ketu, planet Ketu transiting the twelfth house. प्लानट के थ्रू ट्रांजिट ओवर द ट्वेल्थ हाउस इफ थिंकिंग अबाउट पार्टनर ऑल द टाइम्स दैन हैविंग द हेल्थ इशूज और कॉज ऑफ द मैरिज लाइक समथिंग नॉट दैट दैट राइट इन द मैरिज एंड दैट डिस्टर्बिंग योर दैट डिस्टर्बिंग योर स्लीप दैट डिस्टर्बिंग और अफेक्टिंग बैडली योर स्लीप पैटर्नस और ट्रांजिट ऑफ planet rahu in the 6th house i think rahu in 6th house works very well rahu in 6th house works very well rahu is the natural attractor so attracting the karmic relations this time but uh, how clear cut in insight how clear cut insight understanding of the person you meeting in 2024 or in 2025 as rahu is in the is in the 6th house and rahu is the natural attractor so this time it attracting attracting them all and them all means the karmic relations so better we have or better we develop the deep understanding about the partner about the one we meeting in 2024 or in the upcoming year now for darakarka in scorpio guys darakarka is the energy that completes you darakarka gives a clue of your spouse the the ongoing transit if the ongoing transit connecting very well with your darakaka possibly meeting your spouse this 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 one year and things are okay in your marriage if the connection the transit is not that smooth that great transit then i think uh, better work on the on the on the malefic planet better work on the malefic planet so this time planet saturn the main joint of vedic astrology the karmic planet the planet all about all about your inputs the energy is you giving from your side is is actually transiting forth from your darakarka so saturn is deciding the the saturn is deciding the the emotional circle of your relationship how well uh, this relationship going to help you in uh, in balancing your emotions the emotional connect from partner or not all about the emotional body we tracing it with the transit of planet saturn so darakarka planet saturn i think this one for connection is the good connection just if the darakarka is planet moon or planet mars then things are challenging so if your darakarka is in a scorpio sign guys got got something for you you know planet saturn planet jupiter two giants of vedic astrology they are activating a scorpio sign they are activating your darakarka jupiter's transit in taurus and planet saturn in aquarius they both activating your darakarka this time i think in 2024 you taking taking big decision about your darakarka possibly meeting your spouse taking things to next level in the marriage something but definitely something is there as jupiter planet saturn a lot of karma and lot of bhagya together activating your darakarka this time the karmic axis rahu is in your rahu is in your fifth house and planet ketu is in your 11th house now rahu in fifth house i think about it fifth house the house of house of buddhi house of gyan house of past and planet rahu is the natural attractor so rahu's transit in fifth house i think in 2024 you naturally attracting you naturally attracting attracting these fifth house energies or possibly these fifth house energies attracting you so 
meeting a partner in an education institute you and your partner are both working on something big big project you and your partner are together uh, working on a uh, on a phd program or, or or something that 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 adds value value to your home value to your life possibly astrology tarot reading or possibly uh, pattern recognition like something like that here the fifth house energy is attracting you right now the intellectual person the one who believes in discussion the one who believes in uh, believes in analysis the one who believes in showcasing the brain power showcasing the brain power so this time brain power this intellectual camp attracting you a lot and planet ketu in the in the 11000 now what about planet ketu ketu is the karmic cutter ketu is cutting things and as it transiting the 11th house the social media so if you meeting someone through this social media then uh, this planet ketu in the 11th house uh, uh, like uh, disturbing the connection or you are using social media a lot to know to know everything about your partner so possibly you doing the in depth analysis you are doing that uh, profile checking of your partner so just beware of this planet ketu in the 11th house is ketu is the natural the karmic cut okay ketu sometimes giving you false awakening false alarms and those false alarms not not uh, not healthy for the the darakarka not healthy for the relationship so not the time to not the time to do the in depth analysis or to do profile checking and all this is the time i think in 2024 or after first of may to take big bold actions about the marriage and uh, make or uh, let planet saturn and planet jupiter decide the fate of your marriage fate of your tarakarka now if tarakarka is in sagittarius sign guys tarakarka is the energy that completes you this time tarakarka is in sagittarius sign so this dk in sagittarius this energy completes you in this case if planets connecting very well with your tarakarka it means things are cool if they blocking the path of your tarakarka then better we do some remedies and make them make them favorable now the giant of vedic astrology two giants of vedic astrology first is this planet saturn the karmic giant and second planet jupiter the bhagya giant the luck giant so planet saturn is third from your tarakarka planet saturn is third from your tarakarka third is the house of communication house of social media third is the house of confidence and as planet saturn is third from your tarakarka i think uh, uh, this uh, this transit is supportive transit malefic planet works very well in the third house and universe appreciating rewarding or recognizing your every effort i think uh, possible this time partner coming from the uh, from the third house side or partner having the influence the have influence of third house in her or his life third house is the house of social media so someone who is really active in the in the social media who is really active in the in the media who is really uh, 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 interested in knowing about about your third house skills about your way of communication about your about your social media profile so uh, possible this third house playing the very important role in your marriage and this year i think you taking the big bold actions as third house is the house of action and planet saturn in third house means things taking time guys this thing what your partner and you not liking the marriage if it taking time in the relationship if it taking time then you not liking it so just work on planet saturn's this mean malefic side the limitations or the the delay the delay delay is what we hitting right now now planet jupiter's transit the the planet of luck this time the planet of luck transiting your uh your aries sign and that aries is in your your fifth house so jupiter in aries is the, is the is the favorable transit actually and jupiter in aries sign gave the ninth aspect to your darakaka so jupiter activated your darakaka it is just planet saturn not activated it by any aspect saturn not activated it by any aspect so you felt like or previously possible you not give effort from your side or you gave effort but universe not appreciated them universe going to appreciate this jupiter in taurus sign energy as it is in the 6th house jupiter in taurus in the 6th house jupiter in taurus in the 6th house looking for a possible spouse or partner then in 2024 be ready for a karmic relation a karmic relation where things not in your control so now great karmic relation or a toxic karmic relation depend on the planetary alignment your birth 
your chart but definitely this time the relationship that is out of box out of uh, uh out of box uh, all of a sudden so this type of karmic partner person you are attracting right now possible your partner uh coming from the from the same culture and jupiter is in the sixth house i think uh, uh i think uh dara karka and jupiter they're not having that great connect so uh meeting the spouse than this karmic leo taking things to next level there you feeling the challenges and sustaining the marriage or about the marriage then guys better ask your partner about his thinking about his his idea about his state of mind as jupiter and planet dara karka jupiter and the dara karka they not having that great connect after first of may so better we work on the marriage before first of may and have clear cut understanding about about the marriage about the the state of mind of partner and the karmic axis rahu and planet ketu so this time the karmic axis planet rahu is in your fourth house and planet ketu is in your tenth house i told you rahu is the natural attractor rahu is attracting all the energies and this time in the fourth house so fourth house means fourth house the house of house of your home fourth house the house of your emotional body fourth house is the house of your house of your near environment transit of rahu in the fourth house it means uh it means uh if you providing the emotional support to your partner then you definitely continuing the relationship or uh possible the the partner like if you're looking for a possible spouse then this rahu in the fourth house uh, possible and two possible your mother helping you in 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 fixing or finding the one in fixing the marriage or finding the the one person as rahu is in the fourth house that i told you the someone who is from the same culture same family same environment or same country that is visible now cause ketu is transiting in the 10th house 10th house and planet ketu 10th house the house of profession ketu is the karmic cutter so karmic cutter in the 10th house this the only house disturbing the marriage right now over duties over responsibilities over burdens not good for marriage and strike the balance between professional and personal life strike the balance guys that's what we need in 2024 now dark karka in capricorn sign is two giants of vedic astrology planet saturn planet jupiter the karmic giant planet saturn this time transiting the second house from your dark karka second house is the house of nourishment second house is the house of speech second house is the house where, where you taking things to next level now saturn is the planet of uh, restriction saturn is the planet of delay so this one main layer this one top layer uh, possible not discussing it with your partner if in the in the marriage or when you taking things to next level turning relation to marriage there i think you're not discussing it with your partner or possibly uh, this this layer of planets that are in the second house not so sure about sustainment about the future of marriage or if the saturn benefic saturn than saturn in second house the effort you giving from your side universe recognizing them universe appreciating them universe rewarding you with a with a stable with a stable sound stable marriage second house i told you house of nourishment so the the positive side of planet saturn the malefic the negative side of planet saturn if you going with this malefic side if you going through this malefic side then better work on planet saturn do some shani shanti pujas will help you in your marriage now the other giant of vedic astrology planet jupiter so where jupiter transiting right now jupiter is transiting your uh, jupiter is transiting what jupiter is transiting your fourth house so jupiter transiting fourth house saturn transiting second house i think uh, i'm feeling the the influence of family i'm feeling the influence of family actually the great the heavy influence of family in the marriage this is what i'm feeling right now jupiter in the second house saturn in the saturn in the second house sorry jupiter in the fourth house possible from the from the mother side feeling this influence and uh is this year favorable for your marriage meeting the partner and spouse and all yes this year is favorable better we take the support of mother and after first of may better we join a education institute better we join a spiritual institute that too going to help us in finding meeting our partner a spiritual pilgrimage spiritual yatras they too definitely going to help you 
Now the karmic axis, all about karmic axis, Rahu is in Pisces, Ketu is in Virgo sign. Where planet Rahu is transiting right now? In your birth chart, Rahu transiting your third house. So third house is your confidence. Actually, your partner attracted attracted by this 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 Rahu in third house energy, attracted to your your confident outlook. You try to be more confident. Try to showcase your your dominance and joining a gym, joining a gym gym institute or meditation institute or you say walking like the normal uh, the normal uh, daily uh, uh, making the daily routine that too what your partner liking right now or what going to help you in your marriage i think uh, this year maximum chances partner coming from the same country same culture same 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 caste same uh, same side and as planet ketu transiting your ninth house ninth house is what ninth house ninth house the house of father house of guru and ninth house the house of enlightenment as Ketu is the karmic cutter guys Ketu is the karmic cutter Ketu trying to break things Ketu is trying to break things and this planet transiting 9th house so possible something coming from father's side father saying to you something about your marriage about about your spouse or about the the relation or possible your guru finding a lot of mistakes in your partner in your marriage society finding society finding a lot of mistakes in the ongoing relations or Planet Ketu in the ninth house, all of a sudden a big awakening, all of a sudden a big enlightenment and that enlightenment process hurting the sustainability, hurting the, the, the sustainability of marriage. So better we keep Planet Ketu under the control, keep Planet Ketu in check and work on Planet Ketu by worshipping Lord Ganesha Ji will help you in finding the possible spouse, taking things to next level and in balancing your, your marriage life, your marital life. Guys, for Dharakarka in Aquarius. Now, Dharakarka is the energy that completes you. Dharakarka gives a clue of your partner. Present transit planet Saturn, the giant of Vedic astrology, the karmic giant, is transiting over your Dharakarka. This not happens after every two months, after every year. This happens after after a cycle of 30 years. This happens after a cycle of 30 years. So, congratulations, the karmic lord transiting over your dharakarka there are two sides of this this karmic lord the benefic side and the malefic side now on the benefic side when planet saturn transiting over your dharakarka possible you meeting a karmic person this time you meeting for, for a bigger bigger cause so in 2024 you meeting a karmic person you meeting for a bigger cause you after meeting your partner you're gonna feel a oh, light light on the karmic side that now things are under my control me and my partner working on the financial side working on the family side working on the on the uh the spiritual side this is the benefic side of planet saturn now the malefic is saturn is the planet of delay limitations restriction and uh where things taking time where things taking time so this energy is what your partner not liking or you not liking in the marriage or in the relationship if things taking time everything is cold thing is just look like planet saturn now then you're not liking it this is the only planet we should work in 2024 to meet possible spouse taking things to next level and uh, and to to manage manage the marital life now about planet jupiter the lord of bhagya lord of luck Planet Jupiter right now transiting Aries sign and after 1st of May will be in Taurus. So Aries to Taurus. Now where is Aries sign in your birth chart? Aries is in your your third house. Your third house. And Jupiter from Aries to Taurus, third house to fourth house. Again, I think uh, feeling the, the the influence, the feeling the influence from the from the family side. After first of May, things will be more more of family type things will be more family type before first of may you are actually working on your third house and third house the house of desire so you're working on those relations those out of your desire just to complete your desire after first of may be more family family will be in the in the in the loop family will be in the loop family will be on the on the table and there the family going to to decide about your marriage the family going to decide about your marriage so better we have clear understanding better we develop that that deep uh that deep understanding 
with the with the partner if you are trying to take things to next level possible after first of may meeting the partner possible family helping you after first of may and uh, where the marital life and all i think transit of uh, two giants jupiter planet saturn is supportive so 2024 is for you guys 2024 belongs to planet saturn 2024 belongs to your dara karka 2024 is the time to complete this dara karka's desire karmic access rahu and ketu is also supportive rahu is in the second house again second house the wealth the finances again the family so family is in the equation definitely now ketu is in the eighth house and believe me ketu is the karmic cutter ketu is the karmic cutter so ketu in eighth house should work on the eighth house only and what eighth house represent eighth house represent the same delay eighth house represent something is hidden and eighth house represent the dark energies so dark energies like everything is going cool everything is cool in the marriage and all just someone did something black something black is like that black magic or or uh, or uh, told you something about your partner or told your partner something about you like uh, the wrong information sharing or that that hidden person only that hidden person just beware of that hidden person beware of that black magic and don't do in depth analysis of things in depth analysis where you 24/7 thinking about your partner and trying to uh, figure out the hidden hidden things that is not not cool for your ongoing relation now guys for pisces rising the transit of planet saturn transit of planet jupiter actually shaping your dara karka and i told you dara karka is the energy that completes you dara karka is is giving us a clue of your possible spouse your partner so this time planet saturn is transiting in in aquarius sign and aquarius is 12th from your dara karka so saturn not activating your dara karka by aspect or by conjunction saturn is actually 12th from your dara karka and 12th house you know house of foreign travel house of expenditure expenses house of liberation like after meeting partner will be like i'm i'm more i'm liberated i'm liberated after meeting the partner and possible your effort also uh coming by the same energy coming by the same 12th house energies our uh, partner is in a foreign country uh more travels that too is the or uh have ex manager expenses to meet the possible person so uh finance wise uh, the expenditures are heavy spiritual wise if you join a spiritual institute if you join a teaching institute there are high chances you meeting your, your partner your spouse so easily and uh, the transit of planet jupiter so jupiter this time transiting aries sign and after first of may will be in taurus so aries sign is there in your in your second house taurus is in your third house so i think before first of may you feeling the the heavy influence of your family but after first of may things will be in your control under your control and third house is the kam bhava kam where you completing your desires only so jupiter's transit third house means you are investing all your energies only to complete your desire so when they say out of out of desire relationship or when they say out of culture when we say when they say different culture different caste different religion all things possible after first of may as jupiter the main planet the planet of luck gonna transit your third house and you meeting your partner to work on a big project and that project to complete your long standing desire only your long standing desire so that's why i'm saying join a spiritual institute join a meditation institute join a uh teaching institute that going to help you in completing your spouse related desire about rahu and ketu is this karmic axis so rahu is transiting in the in the sign rahu is transiting in pisces and rahu is the natural attractor so this time i think you are the natural spotlight you are the magnet right now and you attracting you attracting them all so you attracting karmic relations you attracting positive karmic ones negative karmic ones so beware when making the final making the final decision beware when making the final decision do in depth analysis know your partner know about your partner and uh ask yourself guys ask yourself what type of karmic connect you feel you have with your partner if you feel the right karmic connect only then connect with him or her as rahu is in the rising this time you are the you are the natural magnet 
Ketu is in the seventh house. Ketu is the karmic cutter, and karmic cutter in the seventh house, like the hidden things. Only if your partner hiding things from you, if your partner not telling you the true, not not telling you the uh, the reality, not telling you or giving you only the half picture, the fifty percent, then I think this karmic cutter uh, coming coming into action and. Uh, and disturbing the marriage otherwise things are settled here jupiter's transit is favorable after first of may things will be more under your control and your control just work on this karmic axis and worship lord ganesh ji worship lord ganesh ji this is the best remedy to work on karmic axis so this is what i got for you be connected for more update